I mean, it's our weekly question anyway. Is this using the camp with COVID, players and management? Anything ahead of this, this game with Chelsea this weekend? Uh, no, just hope at the moment. Um, so that happened this morning. So following the, po the protocols at the moment, she will go and get a PCR now. Fingers crossed it's negative, but we continue preparations as normal. So it could be you in the dugout on your own on Sunday then? I won't be on my own. <laughs> I have the backroom staff um, and I'm sure Hope, if that is the case, would be on the earpiece, but we're not at that stage yet, so. Amy, it's been your best start to a WSL campaign ever, but results have dropped off, haven't they, with the, with the six defeats in all competitions over Christmas and the new year. Any reasons for the dip? Um, I think if we look forwards now, um, we obviously, there were some good parts to Sunday's game and we want to build on that. The Man City fixture, the first half, there were some really positives in that. And now it's finding that consistency over the 90 minutes. Um, we need to really be a little bit braver on the ball at certain moments and a little bit cuter with our final pass to retain possession and, and progress up the pitch. I think it's more about, you know, looking forward to, OK, we need to learn our lessons quickly, continue to do the basics, continue to be hard to beat, but build on the positives that we have seen over the past few weeks. Surprisingly, the goals have dried up because you, you play so well to start with. There's five against Birmingham as just one example. It, again, is that something you work on in training? Can you understand why they've dried up? Is that a, a confidence thing? or? I uh, can't, can't put it on one thing in particular. Like I said, I alluded to a moment ago, I think sometimes we can probably be better with our final pass when we're going forwards um, and work off, off each other a little bit better in those moments. And ultimately, certainly going into this game, we need to be braver and bolder on the ball when we're, when we're going forwards. Confidence. It's, that's, a, that's a funny word, isn't it? Because it means different things for lots of different people. And I think you find that within yourself and certainly sticking together as a team, trying to do the basics well and, you know, being bolder and being positive and listen, the pressure is certainly on Chelsea, their title winning side. They will be looking to get back on form in the league. So we need to, yeah, try and enjoy the occasion, but really stick to doing the basics well and working together as a team. I imagine for someone like yourself, learning as you are the trade, that to work alongside someone like Hope, who has been there, seen it, done it, that, you know, in a situation like this, I'm sure she's not panicking on the training ground. And that it's, you've seen, as I mentioned, the elements have been there, haven't they, in a number of the games this season. It's just rebuilding, putting it all back together again. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Hope is incredibly experienced, as you alluded to, Tim. She's been in this situation before, so have myself at this club. Um, it's about really pulling on, OK, what are we good at doing? You know, we need to get back to doing the basics. We need to ensure that we maintain being hard to beat, give ourselves the best platform to build on and, and stay focused. Preparations this morning have been really good. Uh, players are full of spirits, um, really positive, really want to have a go. So. Um, you know, we truly believe we stick together in the process, focus on the performance, most importantly, and we give ourselves the best opportunity. So I guess I have to ask, is Chelsea at home the best possible match to have in this situation or the worst possible game to have? Look, every, every game in this league is, is a challenge. I think we've seen that, haven't we? We've seen that Reading v Chelsea, Birmingham v Arsenal, us v Leicester last week. Every game is a challenge. Um, it's, it's certainly an opportunity. It's an opportunity to improve on our performance and, that, and that's what we'll focus on. Good luck, good luck with fitting the earpiece if you need it. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Thanks. Juliet. Thanks, Bruce. Hi, Amy. Good to see you. Good to see you, Juliet. I hope you're well. Uh, thanks for thanks for stepping into the hot seat for <laughs> us with, uh, with Hope Away. Um, so, you know, just talking about that, I know you're still awaiting the results of the PCR test for Hope, but how destabilising is her absence at this, this critical point in the season? I don't think it is destabilising. Um, 
I think I mentioned earlier, we follow the same preparations. We're always both on the pitch delivering anyway. So in that aspect, you know, for us, it is normal. We're going through the same processes. We're same style of play, delivering the same messages. And like I said, the players are really positive. They're really focused on improving what we've been working on, putting their best foot forward this weekend. And that, like, like I said earlier, we're going to focus on improving the performances for sure. She was very tough talking uh, in her post-match interview, Hope was, last weekend, saying it's not good enough. These players are professional, they know their job and they didn't deliver. Those were her words. How did the players respond to that, Amy, in, in the dressing room? There's been some really honest conversations this week between players, squads, you know, staff within that as well. The group always reflect very deeply and openly and honestly with each other, which is first signs of, you know, a great side, great individuals that lead that process. And for sure, they want to start putting words into actions, which is certainly what we want to do. So, like I said, we have to focus on delivering the performance. I think if we focus on delivering a good and better performance and doing those basics well, we put ourselves in the best position. And that, that's the first steps and, and the things that we all need to do. And the players recognise that. And like I said, those conversations have been really, really good this week and has got us to the point of today where in training, it's positive, it's focused and everyone's looking forward. You'll obviously have been looking at that league fixture last night, harder with a with a hat trick, four two uh, victory in in um, in the league cup. What do you take from their performance last night going into the weekend? Um, there there was quite a few changes within the game as it went on. Um, slightly different system, different things. Maybe they're trying, maybe they're not. Maybe it was to combat West Ham. I mean, these are the situations we go through every week when you're preparing to face any team. Um, what we do know is they've come back off a period of time without a game and they've had an opportunity to reset, I get it, get some refresh. Really want to focus more so on us at this moment in time because I think if we focus more so on us, then we give ourselves the best possible opportunity. We give ourselves the best possible opportunity of performing, of, I guess, improving the standards where they've been and moving forwards. I think that's what we've got to do because otherwise we could spend that ages digressing and obviously we'll take from last night what we need to take, but focus on us more, most importantly. And going into this weekend, I mean, we've been here before, haven't we? Exactly the same, ironically, um, this time last season, a rough run of form and then a fantastic victory over Chelsea that really shook the whole league, really shocked the whole league, didn't it? So it can be done. Do your players have that fighting spirit to come out with that kind of performance again, would you say, Amy? Can that happen again? Can it happen to anyone in the league? Look at Birmingham, you know, and gosh, their spirit, their application in that game was terrific. We've done it previously, so absolutely. You look at the squad and you go, of course, capable of happening again. I think the reality is, though, to get to that point, it required the effort, the attitude and the application within that game. And sometimes go back and watch that game because it was a brilliant performance. Something I'll remember for a long time, of course, but those three key elements were on show throughout that game consistently. And that's where I step back and go, and we step back and go, okay, the performance, the performance is key.